Okay, so you use a lot of reclaimed wood, and one of the best reclaimed wood you can get actually is a pallet, but you have to dismantle it and turn it into a plank, which I already did. I have a bunch of pallet plank right here, which is I'm preparing to use for a project. But before you actually can use it, um, and you own a planer, this is electric planer, hand electric planer, and you have um, a thickness of planer, which has those blades I have here right now. This is a disposable blade, two sides, and I think it's a carbide uh, materials, uh, both sides. So I hope you can see. There's two sides. One right there, right there. So yeah, this is the um, blade of my uh, thickness of planer. But I can just go ahead and feed it into my thickness of planer and make it all the same thickness. But this blade right here um, can cost 1,500. 2,000 pesos for two pieces of this, but you can use this two times, both sides, and it's, it's really expensive. So I try to make mine uh, as long as possible. So what I do to save it, which is I'll show you right now, is I use a electric hand planer first. Electric hand planer first. So... This thing, the blade of this thing is, I think, three inch something, and um, you can remove it and resharpen it easily if you have, especially if you have a, a belt sander, something like that. You can easily sand it, remove the ding, whatever that can cause any nails. But I'll show you why you have to do it if you're trying to save your um, blade. If you're like a guy like me, you try to save as much as possible. So. Here, I have an example here. Um, when I'm dismantling pallets, I try to remove as much nail as I can. Actually, everything nailed. I try to inspect it as much as possible. But there will still be some nail that you actually don't see. And this thing, I'll show you like two of it that I missed. And not this nail. There's this a small copper wire that... Um, make all of this nail together i think when they use this uh nail gun when they make the pallet i think these uh nails that they use I actually have it in here this kind of nails i hope you can see yeah this kind of nails so i think this goes together and there's kind of uh copper wire that tie all this together and you put this on your nail gun and what the nail gun do it just um, throw it to your wood and you see this small copper that laps in there I don't know if you can see it I'm just shooting it through my phone but yeah that copper nail is actually oh, I just lost it that copper nail hmm, I just lost it is one of those metal that you want to remove if you're trying to see your thickness or blade this can be expensive but if you don't mind buying a lot of it then go ahead you don't have to do this but another one i'm missing here there's another nail you see that that's a nail So no matter how, uh, how long you spend time trying to remove as much nail, as much rocks or whatever in there. Plus another thing, pallets, if you use pallets, it's been sitting for a floor for a while. You know, they use it on a crate, they use it on a pier or uh, put some stuff on it. And then there's this uh, machine that pick it up and pile it together. But it's been sitting in a floor. So you'll never know what kind of stuff 
there's rocks, glass, whatever that uh, stick through inside the wood through time. So it will really help you and save you a lot of money if you use this electric hand planer first. Just try to make few baths just to remove the first surface. And it will save you as much as possible. It will save you, I mean, it will save your blade from getting ding, because once you have ding at this blade, it's there forever. <laughs> you either just change it if you want to remove that thing or change the other side. So, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I'm going to play it. So, I think here is a good example. As much as possible, I try to check it again. See if I have any nails or copper sticking there. So, see this? I like to have some kind of a small stopper. Because once you push your planer, you want something to stop it. Don't go. Okay. There you go. You don't need to go very deep because um, those electric hand planer, if you can get very good on it, you can actually make it really flat. But I prefer to do it on thickness or planer. So you can really get the same thickness, especially if you're doing it, if you're doing a specific project that you want all your wood to be all the same thickness so there you go just remove the first surface and then that's it you save this bad boy from actually you save a thousand pesos or two thousand pesos from doing this every time that's it